Rapport. Establishing rapport is key to being a good coach and key to doing well in various areas. Think of all the people that you admire, okay? Think of all the people that you really get on well with. What are some of the common groundings that you have? Okay, there are ways that we can get rapport through voice levels. So if you're having a conversation over the phone, matching someone's voice level. Think of someone who phones you up who's got a really squeaky voice or someone who's shouting. It, it, it's hardly pleasurable. Language level. Okay, I'm not saying you mimic someone's accent, but what you do is you maybe match their tonality as well. Beliefs and value. I'm not saying you take people's beliefs and values on board, but maybe you could share some common ground, like a football team they support. Okay, this is a key thing. And also non-verbal matching and mirroring. What we do for matching and mirroring, have you been to a restaurant and you see a couple sitting together identically, maybe in this position or that position, or a group of people all in the audience? For matching and mirroring, the exercise I'd like you to do is if you can find a partner, get them to sit in a certain way, and having sat in that way, you adopt that seating posture for a minute or two and see at the end of it if you can start getting into the mind of how they think or feel. Okay? And that's how powerful matching and mirroring is. Moving this forward as a technique, if you're going in for an interview, it might be worth subtly matching and mirroring the person who's interviewing you. If you were dealing with a presentation, it might be worth matching and mirroring one or two people in the audience so the rest can follow. If you were a coach, you might match and mirror your client coming in to gain a rapport. And once you've got that rapport, we know you're going to stand a better chance of succeeding in your session.